Today's short is being brought to you by Goya Foods. If it's Goya, it has to be good. Your daily game plan for success. It's Sacks in the Morning. Steve Sacks. Hey, Steve Sachs here with Sachs in the Morning. Today is Tuesday, the 13th of December, and this is Mentor Week. We talked about my career yesterday, about who's been my mentors before and after my career, and that was a really fun thing to do. And today, we're going to talk about the importance of mentors, kind of get into the brass tacks of it. What is a mentor and what do they do for us and whatnot? I found this real interesting article by Jamie Burt of Indeed.com. I just want to just read what she had put in there about what a mentor is, kind of like the definition of a mentor, because some people kind of got a great idea what a mentor is, but they're not sure maybe around the edges what they do and whatnot. So anyway, here's what she had written. She goes, a mentor is someone who acts as an advisor to a less experienced individual known as a mentee. Typically, individuals seek mentors who work in their same field or desired field. The mentor helps this individual grow and develop as a professional often offering advice based on their more advanced knowledge and experience. Mentorship relationships can be built through networking or personal connections or formal mentorship programs. So anyway, that's kind of a generic good idea of what a mentor is. So what I'd like to do now is go back and, re- and refer to, you know, the reasons why we need mentors and what they do for us and how we can benefit from having a mentor. And some of these ideas, uh, again, are going to come from Jamie Burt from Indeed or from Inc. Magazine. Uh, John Rampton had written some really good things about it. So we'll have some references there as we go through this. But, you know, mentors can see where we need to improve and where we often cannot. In other words, they're not going to tell you what you want to hear. They're not going to kiss your behind like some of of our friends might. A mentor is going to be somebody out there that's going to give it to you straight. And that's what we need as far as looking at serious situations and why we have a mentor, because we need some guidance. We need some advantages. We need to avoid some pitfalls. And that's exactly what they do. So here's something that George Lucas had said. He said, mentors have a way of seeing more of our faults than we would like. And it's the only way to grow. And that's perfectly said. That's exactly why you want to mentor. Listen, you can get anybody that can go out there and tell you what you want to hear. You don't want yes, man. You don't want people just shaking their head yes around you and say, yeah, that was great. I often have people that ask me about my speeches. Hey, how about you practice your speech on me and then I'll give you my idea. I never do that. I've never had a time where... I would go out and practice my speech on somebody because lots of times they will shake their head. Yeah. When it wasn't very good, or they'll say, well, they try to be constructive and say, you should probably do this and that. And you know what? It was really good how it was. How do you know these people are even qualified to give you critical advice? If they're just your friends, you need a mentor. So the second one I wanted to mention is that a mentor will allow you to work from your strengths or to become self-sufficient. I remember when Alexander Van Buren, when I first contacted him, you know, he told me straight off, look, we're going to work from your strengths and I'm going to show you how to do it so you don't have to outsource a speechwriter, outsource a ghostwriter. You know, when I wrote my book, (laughs) those are my words. That's my ideas. And I didn't want to have a ghostwriter. I had people say, hey, which ghostwriter did you use? Are you kidding me? I'm not going to have a ghostwriter do anything like this. If it's not authentic, why in the world would you want to do it? And that's what a mentor is going to give you, the self-assuredness that you can do this by yourself and not have to depend on other people. And how about this? Mentors are connectors. You know, they can play a dual role as a teacher and a connector, and a mentor can provide access to those people within your industry. How much of a, you know, endorsement do you think that you can get that would be better than having your own mentor open up their field, open up their book of contacts for you to go out and help people that they've been working with? That's a hell of an endorsement from somebody. So lean on that, lean into that fact that a mentor can add that to your life. And another great thing about having a mentor is, man, look, you've got a built-in cushion, if you will, for somebody that's been through the rigors of what you're trying to accomplish. So why not have somebody there that's already been through this, somebody to give you some guidance on not stepping into something that you shouldn't be in, all right? It's great when you're looking out for number one, just don't step in number two. (laughs) So 
a mentor is somebody that's just going to say, hey, man, go this way a little bit, and you can just avoid yourself a lot of heartache, maybe some money that could cost you or whatever, but don't make the mistakes that I've made is what a mentor has told me before, and it's worked out. It's been such a great thing to have. I mean, how would it be if we could look forward and say, man, I just wish I had somebody here that could just take me on the side of that so I wouldn't run into that huge problem? That's what mentors do. Another I'd like to mention is that mentors uh, maintain accountability. How great is it that somebody's there watching you? <laughs> you may not like that. But I think mentors, they want to see that you're trying. They want to see that the effort and that you really love what you're doing, that you care, right? That's going to give them more fuel to stay in there with you longer. And you don't want to let your your mentor down. You want to certainly show them that you're you're in this in earnest and that you want to get the job done. And lastly, when we talk about the advantage of having and the importance of having a mentor is mentors are willing to listen. Make sure that you have a mentor that's willing to listen to you and not dictate to you because that's not what true mentorship's about. Mentorship's about throwing around ideas. It's about, you know, looking at it from different sides. And I can tell you this, mentors are going to learn something from you. Your mentor is going to learn a lot from just listening to the things that you have to say. So there's a growth process on both ends of this, which is a great thing. When you're uh, going to get ready to listen to this tomorrow, when we talk about why you should be a mentor, <laughs> you're going to get the same growth that you see your mentor getting, which is a real important thing. And that's my short for today. Hey, everybody, Steve Sachs here. And if you're thinking about holiday gifts, why not give a Sachs in the morning mug or a hoodie or something from the swag department to keep up the inspiration and keep it fresh all day long? And don't forget the Sachs in the morning holiday gift cards available right now on the website. Or I can send a personalized audio message from you to whomever you wish. And you can find all of our gift ideas and my information for greetings right there on the website, SachsInTheMorning.com. And don't forget, if you or someone you know might be interested in a speaker for an event, you can find that information on the website as well. Just go to SaxonTheMorning.com. And thanks to Al Hendrickson Toyota for their support of this podcast. And be sure to visit AlHendricksonToyota.com. Toyota, let's go places.